What made you decide to become an Annie? Oh, well, I've just always loved babies. <laughs> They're so sweet and innocent and cuddly. <laughs> Seat your mission. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, you're up. Oh, hello there. What's your name? I am Bobot, the displeased. And I am Sally, the nanny. Not funny, derisive mimicry. Well, I was just trying... Silence. <laughs> Sally, let it go. Mrs. Brody, I have yet to meet the baby who hasn't fallen in love with me. <laughs> I'm sure Bobet and I will get along just fine. Why don't I let you two get to know each other better? Well, Bobet, uh, what shall we do today? I require pudding. Pudding? In the morning? Well, Sally doesn't think that's a very good idea. Nah. There were crumbs in it. Maybe I wanted that toaster? Eat your own toaster. <laughs> Dad! All right, you two. What are you fighting about now? This idiot ate the toaster. He is your brother, Heather, and he has a name. Name? What kind of a name is Spit? It's an old family name. He was named after my grandpa, Spit. It happens to mean handsome warrior. Do you know what your name means on my planet, Heather? Or should I say... Gum disease? Stop it, stop it, you're lying! Sweetie, we're trying to be a family here. But he only thinks of himself. He took forever in the shower this morning. I was rehydrating my spikes. They were droopy and lifeless. I don't wake up looking like this, you know. So that's where my moisturizing shampoo went. I didn't touch it. Then what happened to it? <laughs> Come on, Boba. Roll the ball to Sally. Roll the ball to Sally. You can do it. <laughs> and uh, we have to be at the high school by 7. Heather's in that synchronized swimming version of Oliver Stone's Nixon. Oh, she's going to be a great Haldeman. Mm. You know, I just wish she and Spit wouldn't fight every morning. Well, they just have to learn how to get along. Yeah, I still feel bad. Moving the kids to a whole new planet and making them share a bathroom. I wish we could afford a bigger house. What, you mean leave this place? <laughs> Well, call me a sentimental old fool, but I say when a woman abducts a man from a house, they stay there. Mm -hmm. Well, wouldn't worry. Haven't gotten a raise in three years. You know, everyone else at the office has got a leg up. Coleman married the boss's sister. Renfield lets him win at golf. And let's not forget Townsend, the golden boy. Didn't he create a new product line that made the company millions of dollars? Lucky stiff, coming up with an idea like that. <laughs> Honey, Mr. Bellamy likes you. I mean, why would his wife invite me and Bobit to that play date today? That's today? Uh, Bobet, honey, Daddy loves you very much. So remember, don't hurt the boss's baby. Because Daddy needs a promotion. Will you read me, Pat the Bunny? Well, sure. Oh, Judy can pat the bunny. Now you pat the bunny. Pat, pat, it likes that. Kissy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stop that incoherent babbling. Sure, being a recombinant DNA scientist is glamorous, but there I was, cloning the cerebral cortex of the vice Kragner of Eudipida, and then I got a call from the babysitter. I'd missed my daughter's first loose ear. There she is at her brother Spitz graduation from Stun Gun Academy. Oh, who's that in the middle? Oh. That's my ex. I know what you're thinking. Why would I let a gorgeous guy like that go? I've got to tell you, he was never there for the kids. Mm. Oh, well. At least I got his looks. Well, you certainly found the perfect family man in Doug. Oh, I couldn't have asked for a better husband if I'd made one myself. <laughs> God knows I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so lucky, Mrs. Bellamy. Oh, please, call me Mickey. It's short for Michelle. And you can call me Cookie. It's short for... <laughs> <laughs> what?
What is goo goo? What is gaga? Define. <laughs> you leave me no choice. Enter this chamber. <laughs> Our Pacific Rim marketing is a mess. If we don't straighten it out right away, we're going to be in deep... Give Daddy a promotion now. <laughs> it's Little Caesars. Stuffed crust pizza and pepperoni stuffed crazy bed for $8.99. You can't afford a big name. Now they want a sports celebrity. We can do sports! Oh. Little Caesars stuffed crust pizza plus cheese and pepperoni stuffed crazy bread carried out just $8.99 or have it delivered. Delivery, delivery. Now, from the heart of the jungle, you can bring the new ace to your place. <laughs> Call him wild. Do I have something in my teeth? Call him crazy. <laughs> Call him out of control. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, on video, rated PG-13. We're having pepperoni. ABC Wednesday. Grace has got the scoop on her mother-in-law's boyfriend. Oh! What's Harry Morgan's big secret? Now you can't believe everything you read on bathroom walls. An all-new Grace. Then it's a buddy shopping spree. What a steal. A new comedy with great friends. Buddy. You don't get it, do you? Not like I used to. Right after an all-new Grace on ABC Wednesday. Now, tell Mommy what you did to Mr. Bellamy. I did nothing. His head was smoking. All our problems are solved. Drive faster. Must see lamb chop. <laughs> Read your memo, sir. Great idea, boss. Way to go. First off, let's discuss the explosion of our factory in Caracas, which just killed over... That is unimportant. But, sir... Silence, expendable drone. I must promote Brody. Now. Uh, what did I do? You are the new senior vice president for marketing and sales for the Pacific Rim region. Wait a minute. I was promised that job. I'm contractually guaranteed. Do not defy me. You are terminated. Great idea, boss. Way to go. <laughs> faster, Sally, faster. Faster, Sally. Sally needs to hear, please. Irrelevant to the task at hand. Stir. Suddenly I'm cold. I require my cozy onesie now. <laughs> I don't know, Adam. I think it's great the teacher picked you to bring home Monsieur Frog. Mm, well, I don't know, Snizzy. I don't like being singled out like that in class. It just reminds Brett's willow that he hasn't punched on me lately. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had a conversation with Tiffany Kendall today. <sighs> Shut up. And I said, okay. It does too count. May I use the phone? If you're hungry, there's a clock radio on the nightstand. <laughs> anyway, she had the cutest outfit. It was blue. Half was really... Mom! He's doing it again! Spit. What? <laughs> Mom! What? <laughs> Cookie, our problems are solved. I got a promotion, a new office, and a big raise. Cool, Dad. Kudos on your improbable rise. And there's a spot for us at the Sherwood Hills Country Club. Tiffany Kendall's family belongs. I can be friends with her. I can be one of the cool kids. I'll have nothing to worry about for the rest of my life. Except for that meteor that's going to collide with Earth in 20 years. They don't know. You know what feels great? All those jerks at the company who never thought I'd go anywhere. Well, this'll show them. Doug, I uh, have to tell you something I think you might not want to hear. 
Mr. Bellamy was there, and, well, I'm afraid Bobet used mind control to get you that promotion. It was completely undeserved. <laughs> I can live with that. You mean you're not upset? Why should I have an unfair advantage? It's only fair. Well, even though you didn't deserve it, I know you'll make the most of it. Thanks. Ah, it's getting late. We better get ready for Heather's swim show. Oh, no, honey, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm expecting some important phone calls from Japan. Well, can't they wait till tomorrow? In Japan, it is tomorrow. Poor frog. Death by pudding. We'll find out about this. They're gonna kill me. That frog's much more popular than I am. Oh, right. I wish Mom were home. She has an IQ of 5,000. She'd probably know what to do. What about... Guys, slow down. I know it's your language. The only Japanese word I know is sayonara. Uh, sayonara. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dad, I got a problem. Oh, not right now, guys. Please, I'm on the phone. <sighs> Hello, Doug Brody. <laughs> I think you misunderstood me. Uh, when I said sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> Adam, to the garage. Wow, the chemistry sets in your planet sure come with a lot of cool stuff. We just take two rods of plutonium, bombard isotope 229, and recombine the DNA in the frog's 10th chromosome. Are you sure it's okay to do this? Well, some societies believe that bringing the dead back to life should be strictly the province of deities. But I say, kids can have fun with it too. <laughs> Well, uh, that was kind of the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this book is funny. Very dumb, but funny. <laughs> See you later, honey. Gotta get to work. Bye-bye. Well, you were up working till 2 last night. At least take 10 minutes for breakfast. Can't. Got a 9 o'clock conference call, and I gotta learn Malaysian. <laughs> Dad, first you must read me Pat the Bunny. Daddy, I'll read you later, honey. Bye-bye. Unacceptable. In protest, I must throw my breakfast against the wall. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna miss the bus. Let's get the frog and go. This spring, the movie that put a new twist on the classic tale of Oliver is back. Only in theaters, it's Walt Disney Pictures' Oliver and Company. Check it out! Rated G, starts Friday, March 29th. How's your job? Great. There's still a lot of stress, though. You still getting those headaches? Yeah. Yeah, I actually went to the doctor. Mm -hmm. I thought they might be migraines. He said they weren't. He told me to take Tylenol, extra strength. Tylenol? Not some prescription, huh? The Tylenol works great, Dad. More than aspirin, more than ibuprofen. For headaches, doctors recommend Tylenol the most. You should have come to work for me, Julie. Oh, sure. No stress there. Hey, Vanessa, want to see my beetle? Hey, Alex, want to see my dragon fly? Good one, Vanessa. <laughs> when you buy your kids a $1.99 hamburger Happy Meal, they can choose a cool Transformer figure or an adorable Littlest Pet Shop toy in special boxes with punch-outs or trading cards, one with each Littlest Pet Shop Transformers Happy Meal. Okay, listen to this one. Why do robots keep batteries in their wallets? Because they like to charge everything. <laughs> Boy, am I glad I got my sense of humor from you, Mom. Have you had your break today? There are only about three dishes I know how to make, but my best is definitely Jello chocolate pudding. I like how it sort of fills your mouth with smooth, cool chocolate. I always stir it clockwise. Sometimes I add my own special garnish. My little boy says I should be a chef in a restaurant. It could happen. Jello chocolate pudding, as smooth as ever. Meet your new mascot. Yeah, it is wild, wacky, and hilarious. Oh. Well, you drive, too. It's a treat for the whole family. Ed scores a home run. Matt LeBlanc, Ed, rated PG, now playing.
Saturday, it's the greatest of all cats. Behold, the tiger. James Brolin hosts another World of Discovery special, Tiger Lord of the Wild. Then, it's high-flying adventure, and you're invited for the ride of your life. Jenny's in trouble now. ABC Saturday Night at the Movies presents The Rocketeer, after World of Discovery on ABC Saturday. I'm very fortunate today I have... Uh... Oh my God, my it's the evil here. Krog. Right I thought he'd been sent to the Phantom Zone. <laughs> That's Tiffany Kendall. Isn't she one of the much-fabled cool kids? What's she doing here? Since Dad joined the country club, I moved up the food chain from ridiculed non-entity to tolerated acquaintance. Tiffany, interesting name. On my planet, it means that which grows on cheese. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hi. Let me get my books. So, what's new? Well, I broke up with Chad. Really? How'd you take it? Mm, not well. But on the bright side, I've broken up with five other guys this semester, and they formed a support group. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mrs. Brody, I don't mean to be critical of your parenting, but, um... Boba seems a little out of control. I'm sorry, Sally, I didn't hear that. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I, I think there's a problem with Boba. He acts like he's the center of the universe. Well, Sally, he is. Excuse? Boba is the high supreme trot in a cave pop in the He'll grow up to be emperor of the Neutron Galactic Confederation with power over the planets, the moons, and all living things. I really thought we'd put this in the ad. Sally, return to nursery. I have soiled myself. Excellent work, Brody. No one else has ever had the guts to say goodbye to the Japanese in the middle of a negotiation. Worked like a charm. Thanks, boss. I must promote you now. You are now in charge of South America, Central America, and the Benelux region. Expect a conference call in four minutes. Uh, well, I'll, I'll do my best, Mr. Silence. I must get the links. <laughs> the mayor of Sherwood Hills had this to say, quote, These reports of a giant frog wreaking havoc with its massive tongue are completely false. I urge all citizens to report. Ugh. Oh, God, I wish Boba wouldn't play with his food. Hi, honey. These are for you. Doug, you shouldn't have. Oh, my favorite. Well, I felt bad about not being here tonight for dinner. It has been a doozy of a week. Mm. Well, let's try and have fun this weekend. Saturday's family day at the zoo, and the kids are dying to see the insect house. Uh, Cookie, Mr. Bellamy has invited all the vice presidents to the country club this weekend. First a swim show, now the zoo. What happened to you, Doug? What happened to that promise you made to always put our family first? I'm doing this for the family. I want us to get a bigger house with more bathrooms. A bathroom can't help Adam with his homework. A bathroom can't go roller skating with Snizzy. And this May, Heather's High School is not holding a bathroom daughter dinner dance. The kids need you, Doug. Sorry, honey. I didn't mean to wake you. Go back to sleep, sweetie. Elevate me. Come here. Uh. Read me Pat the Bunny. Please. Oh, Bob, but it's late. And I gotta get up tomorrow morning early and sell microchips to Polynesia. Or is it potato chips to Micronesia? Mm. Anyway, I can't. Do not go. I am afraid of the dark. Oh. I'll leave the door open for you. I mean the dark of the cosmos. The vast empty abyss. The yawning chasm of eternity. Maybe we'll get you a little nightlight. Hmm? Hmm? 
See, Cookie, I don't spend time with the family. We're all going to the country club together. You're not going there to be with the family. You're just going there to kiss Mr. Bellamy's arm. <laughs> ah, Sally, if you need anything, uh, you've got the number. Do not leave me with child care provider. She is inferior. No. Wait. Oh. Come on, Bobit. Don't be such a garch. Mom, this is the G word. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, whoa! Whoa! Well, Boba, I guess it's just you and me. Entertain me, boring stooge. Uh, how's this? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water. Tiresome. Uh, where is Dumpkin? Where is Dumpkin? Here. Tedious. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. <gasps> Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with the B and put it in the oven for Boba and me. <sighs> Repeat. <laughs> Brazilian melody playing in my heart. I sure could use some waffles, boys. Well, anyway, Tiff, we're looking at a new house. Four bedrooms, eight bathrooms. Hey, blue boy. I sure could use some maple syrup. I suggest you drill a hole in a tree and suck it out. <laughs> That's your brother, isn't it? Yes, Tiffany, but... No boy has ever spoken to me like that before. I can explain. It's He's very... Really? There's something very dangerous about him. Well, yeah, he exhales carbon monoxide. <laughs> I must have. Get him to dance with me. Uh, back in a sec. Spit, I need your help. Tiffany likes you. Be still my stomach. What a dog. What is with you earth girls and all this hair? What do you mean? Mom has a lot of hair. Hey. She has a glandular problem. Look, I take back all the mean things I've said about you. Just dance with her, all right? Hmm. That would be oddly altruistic of me. <sighs> all right, what do you want? Well, you know that car Dad's gonna get you when you turn 16? Yeah. I'd like to eat it. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Tiffany, this is my brother Spit. Spit? Mm. I like that. It suits you. Death. Open your eyes in the morning sun. I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moment that you wander far from me, I wanna feel you in my arms again. What's the matter? I want the old Doug back. This is the old Doug. I just want what's best for our family. And now we've got it. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, huh? Okay. The giant frog was subdued by the National Guard and will be taken to Euro Disney. And then I took a couple of rods of radioactive plutonium. What? Young lady, you know you're not supposed to play with radioactive plutonium until you're in junior high. I'm sorry, I wrecked everything. No, Snizzy, I wrecked everything. Curious segue, Dad. Do you tell. You know, when my kids start recombining the DNA of a frog and mutating it into a giant monster who lays waste to our town, that means I've been spending too much time at the office. You know something? There is a lesson in all this. That frog got too big too fast. And so did I. We don't need a bigger house. We just need to get along together and love each other like a real that family. That is tedious moralizing. Okay, Robert. But tomorrow morning, I want you to release the boss from your mind control. And once he comes to his senses, I'm sure he'll demote me.
Ah, oh, that's the man I abducted. <laughs> require more comedy, therefore TGIF must continue now. My favorite actors are the strong, silent types. Hmm, mine are larger than life. They should be graceful. And they gotta look good in public, too. Now at Burger King, Pocahontas Finger Puppets. From the Disney hit movie, now for a limited time on video. Your kids can collect all six. One with every great-tasting $1.99 Kids Club hamburger meal. And they have to be sophisticated. The $1.99 Kids Club hamburger meal, only at Burger King. So you think you can run the Cheetos business, Mr... Cheeto. Just a Cheeto. Yes, Mr. Cheeto. We're looking for someone who can take the reins of this cheesedom. Someone who can fully appreciate these savory morsels. These delicious treasure throws of cheese. Cheetos, the cheese that goes. Wait till he hears about no Cheetos cheesy checkers. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. Uh, you see that? What? When you gave her the birthday card, the way she just sort of flipped it over and looked at the back, don't you think it's kind of bold? Oh, it was nice. She appreciated it and she wanted me to know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You say you knew she'd look and she knew when she'd find it? Why don't you get the forks, okay? You know, it is okay to look for the hallmark on the back of a card. In fact, you might want to do it before you buy one. How do you guys keep all this stuff straight? We start very young. Is it the big forks or the little forks? You know what to look for in a card. Hallmark. It's a St. Patty's Day special, so keep those Irish eyes a smile, and we're bringing you a full hour of America's funniest videos. And remember, the look of the Irish is with you sometimes. Then, a maniacal mogul turns Lois and Clark's dream vacation into a nightmare. You can be my sex slave. Kill me. David Leisure guest stars on Lois and Clark after videos on ABC Sunday. What's up, what's up? The night's not over. There's more TGIF coming your way. Hey, Stadler, there's more TGIF. TGIF. That girl is fine. Oh, oh, you must mean Suzanne Summers on Step by Step. Well, we're sure not talking about Miss Piggy. No. <laughs> no. That girl is frightening. Yeah, she's a regular Frankenswine. Wow. <laughs> Stay tuned for Step by Step. Patty cake, patty cake. Baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and brick it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for Boba and me. Repeat. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. This is ABC.